people on this channel have been asking for Counter-Strike Online 2. So here's a tutorial how to get Counter-Strike Online 2 and play it if you are not living in an Asian country. So let's go. First of all you need to know this version is all Chinese. So far I couldn't find it in English, so we're gonna go step by step and I'll tell you what to click. At first you gotta open the download website, first link in the description down below. Click on the big green button to create an account. Then click over here and fill in the required data. Username, password, confirm password, Chinese name, Chinese ID and the capture code. For the Chinese name visit a name generator, second link in the description. Just copy and paste the created name. For point 5 you need a Chinese ID, this is a 16 digit number, for some reason that works with random generated numbers. There are several ID generators out there like tool7001.com. Most likely you will get a malware warning, I ignored it and went fine, but note that I had an ad blocker, no script and an activated antivirus program. This tool has been suggested by the Counter-Strike Online 2 website, so I guess it's fine, but you can just try the number I entered. Make sure the checkbox is selected, then click down here on this button. The website will refresh and your new username will appear up there. Now click over here. You will be sent to the download link, click the download link and download the installation data. After unpacking and installing the launcher, choose one of the regional servers up here. Enter your username and your password and click on the large orange button. The game will start and you are now ready to play. Now I will show you some game elements so you will know how to play. I have been trying out this stuff myself because I can't read any Asian language. So if you find anything interesting, please write it down in the comments below. So here we go. When you start the game for the first time, you will be asked to create a nickname. Once that's done, you will reach the main menu and will be asked to play a tutorial. The tutorial explains the basic Counter-Strike gameplay, so I don't really need to tell anything about it because you probably know how to play Counter-Strike. After the tutorial you can continue with some story missions. They take you through various maps, some new, some rather old ones which were remade. On these maps you will play the major game modes Counter-Strike Online 2 has to offer. The classic bomb defusal and hostage rescue missions as well as several new ones like the ghost mode in which a terrorist team is almost invisible and only attacks with knives. All of these single player missions are well playable, though not very thrilling because the bots are incredibly stupid. More fun offers the online mode. I didn't play the game for that long, but here are some game modes that I had fun playing. Classic hide and seek, gun game or arms race and a sniper battle. Before the game, every team sets up their line of defenses. Once the construction phase is over, you have a classic sniper match. Plus construction work. Sounds fun? No? Okay, then I guess you better play the normal Counter-Strike. Or some of the other various game modes offered in this Counter-Strike spin-off, like the zombie mode or whatever. CS Online 2 is, like its predecessor, a pretty weird game. Counter-Strike with leveling, crafting weapons and micropayments for hats and skins. Okay, we've got the skins in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but so far you cannot put a fucking ponytail on your ass. And I hope that will never come in Counter-Strike GO. Here's a short example of how to get equipment. Apart from crafting weapons, which I don't understand, you can buy stuff. For every match you'll get a small amount of money. And after some shopping you'll end up with a trooper equipped with a UMP, a foxtail and a foxy hat. I guess I should call it furry strike now. <laughs> furry. If you enjoyed what you've seen here, go download the game and tell me what you think about it. For the end, I will leave you with some gameplay of the story mode. P.S. The game is built on the old 2010 Source engine, and comparing the maps to their CSS and CSGO counterparts, they don't look that bad from the visual standpoint. Definitely a vast improvement over CS Online 1. But when it comes to the gameplay changes of the maps, that's a whole different story. And the last thing, if you want to have the whole tutorial in written form, follow the last link down below in the description, that's where I got my information from. So, see you next time!